UFC featherweight division fight. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three match bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height, but the same reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions. Here is Bruce This Bruce. is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time! Third round in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 140 pounds, fighting out of Modesto, California, Magnifico! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce! The Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. as this fight gets underway, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I wanna see how this plays out. Just misses with a left hook there. Beautiful strike. And he caught the kick, we'll see what he can do with it. Separate. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Punch his book. Big kick lands. Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Nice punch, Lance. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mix 
action and some body shots. Nice counter left hook. What a display of mixed martial arts there, DC. A beautiful combination ultimately to set up the takedown. Deception. Deception is the key to the game, and he was very deceptive in his strikes of top to set up his takedown down low. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Ooh, nice, nice right here. Back to the feet now. Big Paul West lands. Now he gets back to range. Man, how good is his right hook counter? How good is that right hand? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big kick lands. Just missed with the left there. Hey, where is he lands it? Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Spinning back fist. Jab hurt him a little bit. Oh, and he caught the kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Hands higher, hands higher. Perfect execution on that team. Just out of range with that strike. One of the most important strikes in the press is this big body shot. Real quick leg kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Connects now with the one-two. Kick attempt, it is blocked by Lee. Just missed with the leg kick. Come on, man, let's get that takedown. Right hand on point. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. It's a good right hand right there. Nice leg kick lands. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to hold. Nice, sneaky head kick. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. And that one was heavy. Nice hook. Pinpoint 
point accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Just misses there with the left. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch. Team. Accuracy at its best. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because... Oh, oh, kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Look at him working at trying to set the list up. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swinging a miss by Lee. Clipped with a left hand counter. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. He lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time to pass that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was gonna be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. Oh, oh, oh he's the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not get... Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go take that finish down now. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Ready? Ready? Fight! It's the elbow there. 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice. Watch the shot to the body. Straight punch lands. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Huge knee lands from in close. Nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Not enough. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Come on, push through it. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Got clip with the right hand. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Three minutes remain in the round. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Let's go. Let's get that takedown. Nice defense there. Huge block. Big kick land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Swing and a big miss by Lee. Oh, single collar tie here. And they set it. Big leg kick lands. Big punch lands. Oh! Oh, him up. oh he might be out. Oh, straight right. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. One-two punch there by Lee. Caught the kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Beautiful body kicks. And they set. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Great punch. How about those five minutes? All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done.
cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. a lot of blood. Cut your open gun. Brett wants to stop this fight, but you're not going to let him. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rates, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fight a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Misses with that punch. Oh, Superman punch, not always easy to execute. He did so there. Nice punch lands over the top. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh man, head kick lands. He's got a serious right punch and he went to it effectively there. It is a money shot and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. All right, he engages in the single collar die. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. Beautiful head kick. And he eats a right hand there. It's such a fast leg kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job, Frank. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Three minutes. Lands flush with that right hand. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, big head kick land. Oh, nice. Nice. Slides the shot. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Under two minutes to go. Nice strike. He's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. And they separate. Big body kick. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Under a minute to go. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. 
really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got the leg, got the position, got another beautiful takedown. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. All right, so there's the end of the round. He has been committed to that body work all night. Certainly paid off over those previous five minutes. Yeah, he's investing in the body. He's not taking out withdrawals. He's depositing into body punching, and now it's showing itself. He's made an investment. Let's see how that investment pays off as we go forward. Always better to be making a deposit than a withdrawal. Oh, yeah, you got to stop taking withdrawals in all situations of your life, your relationship, you're, you're, you're fighting everything. You ready? You ready? Here we go, fifth and final round. Ooh, what a punch. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that area. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Good punch, Lance. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. And he's looking for that left hand just missed. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. He's on back. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Hurt here, you can see that. Ooh, big shot lands. <laughs> Under three minutes now to go round five. Just a slip there. Big kick. Stuff to take down, no problem. Ooh. Huge block there. Ooh, what a punch. Absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect plan. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop for this contest at 2 minutes, 35 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right well, now, John. I'm asking the producer.
producers, how soon can I get up? This is gonna be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's gonna be carrying to the club tonight. These corporations manipulating that day.